Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with our friend Elia here. I'm not really sure what to call her. Protagonist works, I guess, yeah. Elia here, if you remember from last time, is a wood elf from Valenwood. And this is our f canine companion, Ace. And I didn't actually go into this last time, but we are going to be focusing primarily in, in stealth type areas for our skills. So I'm going to first be in archery, obviously, and archery and sneak are going to be the two skill areas that I do first and foremost. And last time we left off, we basically he went into Riverwood and sold some stuff and got some new gear. Was basically the extent of it. And I kind of wandered around town a little bit. So we didn't accomplish a whole lot. But we got a couple of quests and stuff for getting some new income. If you remember, we got told about this bandit leader we could kill for some money. And... Luke and Valerius at the Riverwood Traders offering a reward for his golden claw back. And also, we had a little chat with people and found out that apparently a dragon has is supposed to have destroyed Helgen. Which has us a little bit curious because to say dragons have not been seen in the world for a long time is putting it lightly. If I remember right, it's been around a thousand years since a dragon has been seen, well, anywhere. So, we're going to go to Helgen and investigate. And that's going to be what I do next. Sword out, please. Sorry, Ace, I did not mean to hit you. Fortunately, he has some pretty hardy endurance and regens fast. But I won't be getting anything from that kill. For the very simple reason... that I don't have time. Like I was saying, I won't be getting anything from that kill simply because I don't have time to strip the body of resources and such. So we won't be getting anything because we would have to go through the process of getting it. One of the mods I have installed is called Hunterborn, and what it basically does is make the process of looting animals and getting their meat and skins a lot more involved. So basically you have to have a hunting knife for one thing, which we don't have. Or if you're playing as a Khajiit, then your claws substitute as a hunting knife. But we're a Bosmer, not a Khajiit. So not only would we have to have the right tool to be able to do it properly, but we'd have to have time to set up so we can strip them of resources and such. And we don't really have that time right now. I suppose we could make it, but we're kind of focused on getting to Helgen at the moment. Just because that's what we've decided our primary goal is. We want to go to Helgen and investigate it. Uh, yeah, we want to go and investigate Helgen to check out this thing with the dragon. Also, I just want to let you know I am going to actually have a heads-up display showing more often than some people would because I, I'll need to check the map markers. I'm not all that good at reading maps, to be honest, so... 
I have to check it repeatedly to make sure I'm not screwing up somehow. I just wanted to mention that before someone asks. But this appears to be Helgen. Now let's check my inventory. Let me see. Yeah, I like this sword better, honestly. Just the appearance, I mean. Open the gate. What the hell happened here? My god. So, this is Helgen. Well, I don't know if it was a dragon. But this place has certainly been trashed. This was either a dragon or the storm... Let's actually forget that. This was either a dragon or a natural disaster, as far as Elias is concerned. Because remember, at this moment in time, we don't even know what the storm cloaks are. I kid you not. She doesn't even know what the storm cloaks are, so... We're not going to justify things through storm cloaks. And for the moment, please unequip those arrows. And what's this? Burned corpse. What you got for me? Let's have a look at you, mister. The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a leather journal survives the attack. That must have been one hardy journal. Let's have a look at it. As soon as the stupid quest update gets off my screen, obviously. But first, I forgot to read these two. This is that bounty I was talking about earlier. My order of Balgruf the Greater, to all able-bodied men and women of Whiterun, the bandits located in Redoran's retreat have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader, Reventus Avenici. So we've got another way to make some cash. So beware of necromancers. Gives us something else. Attention adventurers. It has come to the attention of the Jarl that many travelers are using Brittle Shin Pass to move from Falkreath to Whiterun. The area is a notorious haven for necromancers, and it is advisable that you stick to the main road when traveling. We'll have a look sometime, perhaps. And the Adventurer's Journal. And I have to wait for this to get out of the way, otherwise I won't be able to read the damn thing. <clears throat> okay, 12th of last seed, 4th era, 201. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost for here forever. The expedition is ending soon, and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. 14th of last seed, 4th era, 201. I received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now. Probably for the first time since High King Torek was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Fifteenth of last seed. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone. Someone very important, if I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. 
This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. 16th of last seed. I woke up early this morning with an Imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart and pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal for now. 17th of last seed. Sure as bones. If only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives, and the cart with me. Stormcloak rebels. Led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Raylof set aside their differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back into the keep to help the other survivors, while I've been asked to get warning to Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it. A dragon. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Yeah, this guy's right. No one back home would have believed him if he were still alive. But it looks like he didn't get that warning to the, the people of Riverwood like he was supposed to. So, we may have to do that at some point. But before I do anything else, I'm gonna quick save. But yeah, in case you hadn't noted this yet, this is the first time Elia has ever heard of the Stormcloak Rebellion. Before this, she didn't even know there was a rebellion. That's how not in touch with this whole situation in Skyrim she is. Uh, so, for now, we're just going to grab what we can from in here. Hopefully we can sell it for a little money somewhere, or hopefully it is money. That works too. Let me see. Hold chain to open this. Pull chain to open this. A dead person, from what that journal said. Probably one of these storm cloaks. We'll take their clothing to sell. But that'll be it. Oh. Ace, you feeling better? Finally got that blood cleaned off your head. I see. I'm sorry about hitting you with my sword. cabbages and leave that lying on its side. Hmm. 
Follow me then, boy. <clears throat> oh, wow. This place is more than a little bit unstable, <coughs> it seems. And for the moment, we're just going to wait over here and warm ourselves up by the fire. Along with Ace, who is probably a bit chilly himself. Exposure of six. I want it to go up to as far as we can get it <coughs> before we continue on. <coughs> we have so I'll harvest a bit of food. Have a look around. Stormcloak soldier. He's dead and no longer needs his materials, obviously. Make some of that. And some more money. Barrel has some potions. And we'll take this bit of loot. <coughs> salt pile, health potion. And through this door, what will we find, I wonder? Use a bit of rest. Oh well. What is going on? Come on. do. We only have nine picks left too. I'll take all the septums, potion, the spell tome, and that crap. But now I need to drop a few things, which I'll do like this.
what do I drop? Hmm. I don't need the iron broadswords. Uh, so I'll drop one of them. And keep on going. Take everything from you. Take nothing from you. I don't need your ragged robes. I'll take that. And that. light shield for now and unless one of them has arrows I'll be leaving everything. And a long bow. Anyone in this direction, I suppose. And I don't need that second longbow, fortunately. <laughs> but I will ditch the iron broadsword because it isn't relevant anymore. And oh dear, the way forward has collapsed. So Ace, wait, first I want to do this. Sorry about that, I had to pause, real life stuff and all that. Anyways, we need to eat and drink. We also need to sleep a little, but that can wait until later. So, some chicken soup. I'm full and my thirst has been quenched. It's only about 3 p.m., so we can wait. Anyways, as I was saying, and before, come on, Ace. We need to get going. Back the way we came. Because there's nothing for us down here. This way? I'll begin through the torture chamber. Okay. And right now, Elia is getting a little apprehensive and wondering why an Imperial garrison feels the need to have a torture chamber. You gotta remember. Because, and if you're wondering why she'd be thinking that, you have to remember Despite the slaughter of her family, she's led a pretty sheltered life and doesn't really know a whole lot about the world beyond where she grew up. Because I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but at the point of this Let's Play, Elia is still only 16 years old. By our standards, she's not even an adult yet. Yeah, she's only 16 and at this point in time, so she doesn't really know a whole lot about the world. 
but she does know enough to put on her timber wolf skin cloak at this moment because it's pretty damn cold out. And we're going to be going this way now. And the air is bone chilling. Not a good sign. What we're going to do now is head towards the other side of this cave. If to try and find out what's in there over in this direction. Basically, the I am so sorry, everybody, but I'm recording this at home, and as those of you who've watched the videos I put up during the summer months know, my father loves to interrupt me for no goddamn reason whatsoever. Except for because he can, and wants my help with something he could probably do himself. Anyways, back on it. I am sorry, but you're going to have to put up with this. I can do nothing about it. Because he thinks Let's Plays are for imbeciles and weirdos, apparently. Or something to that effect. And somehow, despite me doing it for two years and not making any effort to hide, he has no idea I do this. Don't ask me to explain that. I really can't. Anyways, we're in the cave now. We saw that dragon flying from this direction. So... We knew he came from here, and what's this? Blood on the ground. That can't be good. More blood. More blood. Skeletons that contain nothing. What's over here, I wonder? Who are you? Oh, Ace, you scared me. Why did you come back? What are you talking about? I've never seen you before in my life. I came to see what was going on here. Are you mad? You need to warn Riverwood? Quit messing around and get down there? What is this man on about? What? No. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. No, you don't understand. Oh, to oblivion with it. You're here, and I need help. I need a healing potion before I can go on. So I'm back on my feet. We can go together and warn them, so long as that dragon isn't still out there. Okay, let me check here. I have plenty of healing potions. And so I can just give him one. Have I got that healing potion? Yes, I have one right here. Here. Take one of my level one healing potions. It's the most ineffective one I've got, but I need the others for my own use. That's much better. Look out. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see rail off anywhere we should go, basically. Alright, let's get out of here before this cave collapses or something, as he seems to be implying. What the rebels like to forget. What? Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Oh, that Alvor dude is your blacksmith? I sold him a breastplate, actually. Okay. 
Okay, I'll meet you at Riverwood then. See you there. Come on, Ace. Time for us to get back to town. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Why is there a dead Imperial body here? Let's scratch that. Two dead Imperial bodies. Alright, let's go. And I have no idea. And Elia is right now scratching her head as she has no idea what the hell this man is going on about with regards to rebels. Because you have to remember, she doesn't even know what the Stormcloak Rebellion is, let alone who Ulfric is. See that to her, right he's a name in. Mm, yeah, to her, Ulfric is a name in some guy's journal, not someone that matters. Anyways, yeah. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Okay, and this guy is going to follow us, apparently. <laughs> what is it, Ace? You need something? These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, and see for yourself. Okay. And he's watching us. He wants to see what we choose. So, what will the stars align towards for Elia here? An interesting question. Will it be the warrior? Those under the sign of the warrior are a force to be reckoned with, honing combat skills to perfection 20% more quickly. Will it be the mage? Those under the sign of the mage are tuned to the arcane arts, learning magical skills 20% more quickly. Or will it be uh, the thief? Those under the sign of the thief are quick-witted and in mind and nimble in body, learning stealth skills and archery 20% more quickly. So which will it be, I wonder? Which will it be? Well, I've told you already that stealth is where our expertise lies. And that we're not necessarily going to be bound by the rule of law. So you should be able to tell we're going to be the thief. Stone is going to be where our expertise lie. Thief. It's never too late to take charge of your own thing. Oh well. Don't get all judgy on me, sir. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your part. But until hey. we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications. Okay, so apparently he still thinks we were the dude in that cart. Despite the fact that the person in that cart was quite apparently a male, and Elia is certainly a girl. Mm, apparently 